Hi, I'm Ken Ham. In these difficult times when the Bible is under increasing attack, I'm so encouraged to know there's a well-produced TV series like Wretched. From the TV program's title to Todd's unique style to the Bible teaching, there's nothing being produced like Wretched. So please support this non-profit ministry with a generous gift. It's now tax deductible. More than ever, we need ministries like this one. It deserves your support. Thank you. It's time for Wretched Radio with Todd Freer. It is not every day you get a false Christ to join you in the studio. <laughs> this is Wretched Radio. No, it's it's true. We we went to a lot of effort, pulled a lot of strings. Maybe you saw the story, probably not, but we did at the Daily Mail. A traffic cop from Siberia. No, this is not Babylon B. A traffic cop from Should Siberia be. quits his job to become Jesus Christ. And once again, I have to confess, I remember reading the words of Jesus warning his disciples that false Christ would arise. And I thought, that just it, it's, it just seemed odd to me. Clearly, he was correct because he knew that people would come and say, I am Jesus Christ. And we have seen this throughout even our lifetimes. Have you, perhaps you remember this guy. How you doing? Thank that that would be Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda. Well, now we've had him Hard on to the air. That guy. Yeah, he's he's joined us before in studio. Well, now this fellow who was a traffic cop from Siberia quits his job to become Jesus Christ. Not kidding. He has five thousand followers, and he's joining us now in the studio. Uh, sir, thank you for flying all the way in from Russia. It's totally my pleasure to be here, Sergey. How do you pronounce Tarop? T O R O P. How do you pronounce your name, sir? Krubatax. <laughs> hey, watch it, man. Hey, what are you doing? I got to tell you, you sound a little bit, a little bit like Jose Miranda. Yeah. So you are from Siberia. That must be a, a rather bleak place to live, as as well as claiming to be the son of God. It's uh, you know, it's interesting because. Uh, uh, it's cold, but because I, I have this holy, I sweat. You're laughing. Oh, no. You're a mocker guy. I am having a flashback. So you believe that you are the literal reincarnation of the Son of God. Is that true, sir? I feel it. Uh, so, <laughs> you do. I feel it. I, you know what? Right now, I could use a probiotic because I'm feeling breakfast. But, I've got to be honest. I don't know that that means, though, that but I'm your, anything more than salmon doubt. No, your feel is fake. My feel are real. I see. Sporting wispy hair. Yeah, I see that right here. According to the Daily Mail, a white cloak and sandals over his socks. You, I hope you don't mow the lawn. Do you ever have to mow the lawn in Siberia? Look, you're talking about my Birkenstocks now. Watch it. So you're a liberal. I like it. Yes. Do you drive a Subaru? Uh, you know, only Do you have Mondays. a coexist bumper sticker? Exactly. I, I like it. I like it. All righty then. The bearded 56-year-old, well, I'll just have to use my imagination, calls himself Viserion and says he's founder of the Church of the Last Testament. So I, my question for you, sir, is Revelation 22 says, no more words added to this book. Uh, let that person be damned but you're claiming there's more to be added sometimes i changed my mind all right but you know the thing the it's uh it's a it's a kind of a style thing you know what i mean and no well i you have to sometimes adjust and you have to adapt I see. The former, you were you were a Red Army soldier. Uh, that's right. Uh, that, so you could hurt people, but, I see. Who claims you were reborn in 1991. Sometime around there. Uh, no details more than that. It's just approximately. In that sort of region of time. I see. You're now the circa, spirit. Circa, circa. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like you that. know Russian and Latin. That's fascinating. <laughs> yes, it's, now the spiritual you know. leader of at least five thousand devoted followers in a small isolated village of Petra Pavlovka. Yeah, two thousand miles away. How do you get people to follow you? You gotta just, uh, you know, I came up with a slogan a long time ago. Oh, you did. And, uh, it was stolen. Uh -huh. I that I admit. It's it's called, just do it. You just do it. And they follow, okay? 
You gotta try it sometime, Todd. It's really good. Shout out to our gospel partners. It is your ongoing monthly support that allows us to do Wretched Radio every single day and provide the broadcast, the entire program, for free to anybody on iTunes, Android, or at our website. Thank you for being a gospel partner. If you enjoy or benefit from Wretched Radio, would you please consider joining those partners so that we can continue to preach the gospel? Simply visit wretched.org.